morning guys sorry it's gone super dark i've just gone under the john lewis sign but my coat looks really crazy this morning it's got these shoulder pads in i've just got it new in from naked i've actually had some new pieces in from them and a new discount code so i'll be showing you later but today's actually an exciting day i'm just off this morning bright and early it is 9 a.m off to a breakfast event with pretty lavish for chloe lloyd's new collection I do have her new jumper but it's in the wash because I wore it over the weekend so I've just put this coat on my Chanel brooch black top shorts and my new Chanel tights and then later this afternoon I'm actually heading off to Bista to see my friend Amy which I'm so excited for because I did recently go to Bista but if you guys saw the vlog I didn't actually end up getting anything so I went really late so I'm hoping today me getting there in the afternoon there'll be good stock sorry if you can hear all the background noise. I'm currently in Oxford Street. So I feel like this is the bougiest Monday, having a full English breakfast, champagne, and guess who I'm with? Yeah. <laughs> she is again. I walked in this morning, she already had one set on the table. Sure, She's yeah. got four drinks going on. The a, coffee. <laughs> a coffee, orange, champagne and water. You need You're that. living your best life on a Monday. I just think, first of November, best of season, Christmas. Yes. She's already told me she's getting a tree up on the 14th. <laughs> yeah, no judgment. I am back from the event, quickly rushed home. I am now on the car, don't worry guys, I will be putting my seatbelt on. I have topped the car up with loads of water. As I said to you guys, I'm going to do this. I've got like sparkling water still. I've got my perfume, hand sanitizer. Just waiting on the smellies and stuff to come for the car. But I am just about to set off. I'm going to set up the sat nav, set up a good playlist of music. It's going to be like a good two hour drive when I last checked on the sat nav. So I'm not going to get there till like midday. I wish I got there sooner, but there was an issue with the tubes on the way home. So it kind of set me back. So, this is going to be the first trip on my own driving. Let's hope it's a successful one, fingers crossed. I made it after <laughs> yeah. the two hour drive. I made it with Amy and Bob. <laughs> she was just saying when she leans back, she struggles to get up. <laughs> Don't push yourself. <laughs> so we've just come to the apartment, you guys know. I love it here, nice little cozy fire. We're going to get a little oat milk latte to take round with us. And then we'll come back later for a drink. Let's go into Chloe and see. Last time I came in here, they had the best loafers, and I wonder if they've got them back in stock. Also, babe, they do have cute little bags, Chloe. The mini sea bag. So cute. So they've got a few of the mini sea bags. These are 810, but they don't have many colours. Last time I came, they had loads of different colours. They've just kind of got these ones. Well, they're actually, oh, I thought that was cream at first. It's more of like a yellow. They have the loafers, but not in black. I don't know if to even get them in the cream because they're so nice. I'm going to see if they've got my size and try them on. Yeah, that would be great actually. Thank you. So just coming to Prada and they've got this black bag, which I actually saw last time. This is the large, that's the small, and then that's the medium. So I'm going to reserve this because I think I might come back. So I just think it makes an everyday good bag and I can fit everything in this as well. Quickly show you on so I can have it for reference. So this is the large, but it doesn't make sense. It's 30 pound difference between the large and the medium, but I feel like this is too big to wear crossbody, whereas the medium, I could get more use out of. In this ski jacket, I don't know if that's actually gonna to be too long for skiing, but you know when you need it a bit yeah. shorter. Also seeing this bag, and I think this is really cute, but obviously it's not as practical, but I actually really like it in this soft leather. It kind of makes me feel like, you know, the other part of bag that I had on loan from Cocoon Club that I loved. And then the one behind as well. It's a little bit vintage, I feel like. It's quite cute. I wonder how much it is it's inside. Is that it? Oh, 8.30. See, that other bag is, what, £100 more and you yeah. get a lot more for it, though? Can you try it back? Look how cute and Christmassy it is everywhere. They've got all the Christmas decks up. We've also spotted they've got a little mini Jo Malone. Is that always there? Or have yeah, I just missed it? it Me and Chris didn't even make it down this part last time. Should we have a quick look in here before we get some lunch? All cute. Come to Cappy Wellesley, and we're not that hungry, but we've got little rose chips and a croque monsieur. We're back in Paris. 
<laughs> so we've just finished up lunch. It's got dark so quick already, but look how Christmassy it is. Um, so cute. We're gonna head to the UG and see if we can find some little boots for baby Archer. <laughs> and then try and go back to the stores that we wanted to, because I feel like Burberry, we got the time stop, but we need to redo it. I'm gonna look for a trench coat. Yeah, we're gonna look for a trench, get some little baby bits and hopefully have a successful shop because we had a nice lunch and now we actually need to get purchased in. <laughs> oh my God. So back in Dior, they do have that shoe that I saw last time. I'm gonna see if they have my size, but it's always the most common size, but I feel like I want the bigger heel rather than the kitten heel. And then they also have some other boots that I saw over here. <laughs> I thought these were really cute. A little bit of more of like a chunky boot, understated. And they've also got the cowboy ones, but for these, but I really want those heels. I think I saw them last time, and like I said, I was kind of gutted that I went away and didn't get them, so let's hope they have my size. So I've come into Burby to try the trenches, and this was on the special racks. It's so different. This is like the original one. It's got a hole here, and then it's all different inside with the pattern, and then it's got the buttons going down the back, so it's not like a proper trench with the belt. This is a size eight, actually fits really nice, but it's really like lightweight, and you can see like the colors difference. So I don't have to go for this or like the original trench, whereas this is like nine, I think this is 949, where the original is 600. So I'm really undecided to go for something that's a little bit different or go for the classic. But I feel like I'm not sure if this is practical with the holes in it. Yeah. So I've just put this one back on. Ames likes this one. <laughs> This is kind of like the classic one, but it's a bit more lighter weight material, which I like. This is the 10, and I'm thinking, do I even go for the 12? Just because I do like it a little bit oversized. So we'll see, I'll try it on. The Christmas decks up in here, it looks so cute. They've got the Christmas tree up. Getting all festive already. Feels so nice. We're just stopping off now for a quick drink. Amy's having a nice tea before we head back. Okay, so it's finally the end of our shopping trip. We had such a lovely girls' day. It was so nice, CMs. And just then, when she was leaving, she was like, next time you see me, I'm probably gonna have the baby, which is just such a weird feeling. It's just so nice to spend time with her before the baby comes. But I ended up getting the Prada bag and the Burberry trench. So I was kind of on an arm of the Burberry trench to go kind of different, all the lights going off, or the classic, and I went with classic but I'm really upsized with it. I went for a size 12, but really annoyed. Already got a hole in my Chanel tights. We were sitting then in the apartment just having a drink, a cup of tea before we left. And I was like, how has this hot happened? Because I've been so careful with them. So I'm going into Central tomorrow and I'm gonna go back to the SA and see what she says, because literally first time wearing them, which is really annoying. But glad to treat myself to the Prada bag for like every time I've come Vista I've seen that bag and I'm just like I should have got it and now finally I feel like I've invested in a really good everyday bag it went for the medium obviously I'll do a whole unboxing so you can see tomorrow but it's so late now and I need to drive home it's going to take me like a good hour and a half to two hours so I'm going to put a podcast on and I'll pick up with you guys tomorrow and show you what I got morning guys please excuse the drilling in the background we've got the builders next door but I woke up very happy this morning. I came back last night and I was doing like a little try on of my trench with Chris and he's like, I think you made the right choice of going with a classic. However, now I'm looking back at the video on my phone of the car key one, I'm like, hmm, should I have got the car key? And I feel like actually going back to Vista and maybe retrying it on, but I think that's just a bit extreme. But I did, like I said, go oversize with the trench coat. So I'm gonna unbox them, or like not unbox them, but just show you and obviously unbox unbox the bag as well i'm so excited i can't get my words out to show you guys what i actually got okay, so i'm actually going to do the unboxing here in the bedroom because i've currently got the clean around cleaning downstairs so i thought it'd be actually easier to film it here and actually the lighting is better so i'm trying to get the bags i have the goodies here the prada and the burberry so i'm going to start with the bag now if you've been subscribed here for a while or you've been watching my recent vlogs you know that I've been basically going on about trying to find a good everyday black bag. And I've been trialing out a few. I trialed out the Prada one from Cocoon Club. I've also currently got the YSL Sunset one. And it's just been a really good way of like trying out bags and seeing what I actually want. 
and how much I use them. So for me, the YSL one, it's just not big enough to fit everything in that I need. Like even when I was at Vista, I was like having to get everything out just to like grab my camera or grab a lipstick. And I feel like I had to like get everything out of the bag just to find one item. So I wanted like a bigger bag, kind of like a boxy one that I know I can just open and have everything in there. Kind of how the Prada one was, but just a little bit bigger because I feel like that is what is lacking in my wardrobe and just that everyday bag that I know I can take with me and will match with everything as well. So I wanted it to be quite classic. And I've gone to Vista a few times now and spotted this bag. And every time I go in there, I try it and I love it. And then I always go away and I'm like, I wish I got it. If you guys watched my last Vista vlog, I also tried it on and I said then that I wanted, well, I wish I had got it. So I went back and I feel like it was meant to be, the bag was there. However, they did have small, medium and large. So I tried them all on. I'm not sure if it got it all on the vlog because I was trying to do it in store, but it was quite busy. So I was on an R and if to go to this go with the small, medium, or large. I was literally unsure on all three. So we went for lunch, I came back, and I actually tried on the small and I loved it, but then I thought, actually, I might as well go a little bit bigger if I am getting that everyday bag, just so I can fit literally everything in, even if it means fitting like my water bottle. Hopefully, I haven't tried it yet, maybe my laptop. So I ended up going with this one. And I will unbox it for you. Obviously, it's not all in the packaging because this is a fresh new one, but it just comes in the Prada dust bag. This is literally fresh out the bag. I'm going to come in close so you can properly see it. So this is the new baby. It's still got the packaging here on the back, so quickly remove that. Ta I am so happy with it and like i said i just feel like this is so classic it's such a good size it's not too big not too small and like i said i went for the medium i was on and on to get the small and then i thought i'd rather go up a size however there was a 30 pound difference between the medium and the large which to me just seemed a bit it didn't really make sense i was like why don't i just spend 30 pound more and get the large but the reason I did it is because I did want the option of also wearing this crossbody because it does come with the crossbody strap, which again, I'm gonna pop it open this so you can see inside and everything and show the details of it. it comes with the handles, obviously to wear it as the handbag and then the longer strap, which is adjustable. So I will show it you on, but I just thought I'd show you a little bit up close again. And the reason I do love this bag is because obviously it's black, it's gonna match with everything and it has the gold hardware and I always wear my gold jewelry. It's just like my go-to. So I did want to find a bag that also had the gold hardware because the other Prada one was obviously the silver. So that's what also kind of put me off getting that one. So I'm just so happy with it. Like the size of it, even holding it up now to the camera, you can see it's good. It's obviously a little bit big to have crossbody as like an evening bag. But if you're just going out every day or even just whack it over your shoulder, it's just going to fit everything in here. So I actually did try and store putting everything in the bag just to try it out. This is inside. So you've got the Prada logo inside and also going through the lining of the bag. You have a zip here so you can put other bits in like your lipstick or whatever you wanna put in there. And then you also have the compartments inside. So I'm gonna remove this packaging so you can see. So you have the big compartment inside and then also a little pocket flap here if it's picking up on camera which you can also just put like your card holder in or your phone so it's easy to get to. But I just think the size of this is great. And this bag is just never ever going to date. So obviously it was from Vista. I did get it at a discounted price. And to me, this is actually such a good price for this bag. I already went on Farfetch and a few other websites and this bag is still being sold for full retail price. So if you are looking at getting it, definitely recommend going to Vista. So the small one I think was around 840. This one was 920 and then for 30 pound more, you can get the large. But the reason obviously I didn't is like I said, I want to have this a little bit more versatile and the large was just too big for that. And also because I feel like I'm obviously on the shorter side, I felt like the large was just too big for my body as well. And everyone in the store was like, definitely go for this one. And obviously my friend Amy was helping me. It's just always nice to have like that second opinion. So very, very happy with it. For £920, I secured this bag, so I saved a lot. I'm not sure if the retail price um, is on here. I'll have a look on the receipt. 
I'm just so happy with it. Like I said, I've been into the store a few times now, eyed it up, and then I'm really glad I went for it. So this is the more boxy feel. It has kind of got the rounder edge here, and then there was another style, but that only come in the small. So I definitely was glad I went for this one. I just think it's so classic. This is never going to date, and I'm absolutely sure I'm going to get my cost per wear out of this bag. And then I also got another little treat from Burberry. And again, at last time I went to Bista, I was so good. I didn't get the trench. I literally went into the store and then they were closing it. So I went back this time and I tried on a few different ones. I tried on this khaki one and I absolutely loved it. I loved the fit of it. I liked the fact that it was longer. It kind of had that silhouette shape that it was coming out here on the sleeves. But I thought when you're going to go Burberry Trench, go classic. So I did end up going for the cream one. Now there's obviously loads and loads of different styles when you do go into the Burberry. So best to try them on and they're all at different prices. The typical classic ones that they sell at the Bista outlet are around £600. The khaki one was, I think it was like £1,200. So they do differ. And I did also try a different one on, which I showed you in the vlog, with like the buttons down the back and the holes in the sleeve. I thought that was really cool and different, but it wasn't practical. Like with the holes, it was very much more lightweight. And that again was £940. So I ended up going with this one. This is kind of like the lighter cream colour where the other one was a bit more structured and I liked the fact that this wasn't. I like the fact that this material is a bit more loose and relaxed and I went really upsized with it. I actually went for a UK size 12 just because I wanted it to have that kind of like oversized relaxed feel with the trench. I don't like when they're really structured. So this is the trench. Obviously you've got the Burberry pattern inside with the Burberry logo here. And then it's this gorgeous cream colour, the tortoise shell buttons. And Amy did convince me to go for the classic as well. So you obviously have the belt option with it. And then when you pop the collar, you also have the Burberry underneath here, which I actually quite like it popped a little bit. So I'm going to try this on so you can properly see it. Because obviously I was trying them on in store, but I felt like a little bit rushed in store. So I can probably show it you now. And like I said, I did go oversized. Okay, so this is the trench coat on. I absolutely love it. And I feel like it just fits really nice on me actually. Going for a little bit of the oversized feel. But it doesn't feel too oversized if that makes sense however i am going to get the arms tailored because the arms are always super long on me and obviously because i upsize they are a little bit too long so when i was in store if i forgot to say i did actually try a jumper on in store underneath it just to make sure that i would have room if i was wearing like a chunky layer underneath and i think that's a really good key if you are trying these on because obviously going into the winter months you are going to want to layer underneath hence why i upsize but i just love the details of it so like I said you can pop the collar and kind of have like the Burberry pattern showing here and then all the details you've got the buckles the tortoiseshell buttons comes over here with the flap obviously I'm gonna put the button through that actually there we go I've done the button up now but I just love how when you wear it it's so understated and then you just see the pop of the Burberry pattern underneath and then this one is obviously a little bit shorter than the khaki it comes kind of just below my knee ignore me here my slippers so I just feel like, because I'm obviously on the petite side, I feel like this actually does fit me quite well in the length and just the size of it. So this is obviously the bag, so you can see it for size reference against me. I'm wearing it with the trench, and as you can see, it's just such a good everyday size bag. I love it. I just think it's so classic. It's quite understated, and I love the fact that you do have the logo on the front with the gold details popping through as well. So this is obviously just wearing it as I probably would, just as a handbag, throw it on. Then I'll also show you crossbody, so you can see it just for size reference as well. So like I said, crossbody, it's not like, it's not meant to be a crossbody bag. It's not a small bag like when I tried the Celine Triumph bag, which I was obviously on and on to get, but that was 200 and two, sorry, 200, that was 2,800 pounds. Whereas the price I paid for this is literally practically half, 920. So it's not meant to be a crossbody bag. And I feel like because I'm so used to wearing the crossbody, like my Chanel and my YSL ones, Amy was like, you need a bag that's more of just a handbag rather than focused on having crossbody. So obviously I can wear it like that and I can wear it sort of just like this, like whack it over my shoulder and have it if I was just like running out the door. So yeah, now I've done the unboxing and showing you what I got. I'm just really happy that I managed to actually have a successful trip this time because last time I didn't. Can't get my words out today. 
but managed to treat myself for my birthday and now I'm actually heading off to the H&M showroom. I've shown you guys and taken you with me to the showroom before and I'm going back today. I think the last time was like a few months ago. Um, so it's really exciting actually to go today because I know it'll be more like autumn winter stock and H&M just always nail their autumn winter stuff. So, and later tonight I'm actually going to a GHD event which is fun. I feel like it's just so nice that events are happening in real life again. I'm going to head off there later. So I've actually just done my makeup today and I used a new palette. I used the Hourglass one. I will show you guys. And I used the bronzer blush and then I just used a bit of the bronzer on my eyelids as eyeshadow and I actually really like it. It just makes my face look really fresh and vibrant like you can see it's got the highlight in it as well so I recommend that and also had charlotte tilbury beauty light ones come in i keep looking behind me because i just had them there but i remembered it, i've just put them away so to let you guys know they are back in stock so i will show you guys them maybe tomorrow morning when i'm getting ready or later actually when i'm getting ready for the ghd event okay so don't judge the mess of my makeup drawer at the minute but just before i head out i thought i'd show you so these are the hourglass palettes there's two different ones I think they're magnetic actually oh my god yeah they are and these are the charlotte tilbury beauty light ones now these are literally holy grail and i'm so glad they've restocked them so you guys can get your hands on them i use all four of these but i haven't actually used this one so i'm going to try this out maybe later today with you but i switch between the peach gasm and the pink gasm for like a nice dewy um blush this is the contour one. you guys always see me using this and then the highlight so absolutely love the fact that they're back in stock you guys can get them and i've got my top ups okay you can see me through the mirror these are the hourglass palettes and they are stunning i'm very much like an advocate of you know always stick to the beauty products that i love like my makeup but i've been venturing out recently as you guys know and i thought this morning you know what i'm going to try this out and i went for this palette i used the blush and then i actually mixed this one and this together and then i used the bronzer and also this one and this one on my eyelid i just kind of mixed it and had a play around so this is my OOTD my outfit of the day I've got this jacket on from Naked told you guys I had a new order in from them and I absolutely love this I feel like it's so cool really easy just to throw on and then the top underneath is also naked it's got this kind of like cut out detail so I've had a massive order from them come so I'm going to do a full on try on haul for you so I do have a discount code Chloe Rose 20 it gets you 20% off right now and honestly their stuff you know I go on about it so much I love their brand and the fact they're sustainable and they've got really really nice coats at the minute including this jacket so yeah this is my look today my faux leather trousers from Zara loafers and the YSL bag <laughs> and basically you can have a browse try them on and then pick a few pieces to take away obviously some of the sizes not might be mine so i'm hoping oh this is actually quite cool this big puffer again i'm kind of got like skiing in mind because i've got a few coats already um ready for autumn winter from the naked stuff i feel like i'm trying to think ahead into the winter season now this is also really cool i like the fact it's um sleeveless a few accessories and then they have this little cute kitchen area lounge area oh i'm gonna take one of these don't mind if i do i don't think i actually showed you this bit as well so this is the kind of little area where you try on and then in the fit room i've picked out some pieces already and i feel like these are actually some good picks obviously i've got quite a few here to try on it's got the nice chunky knit these are the genuine leather leather trousers and you guys know how much i wear these faux leather ones so i feel like maybe i should actually try these on and they're a size eight so i hope they fit then I've got this little gilet um, over thing, which I'm going to try. thought this could be amazing for skiing, this cream jacket, and obviously when it gets into the colder weather. I got this one that I showed you guys. Also saw this in black, the pullover. And if you guys saw my last vlog, you remember my stirrup leggings that I got from Zara? They were not working for me, so I'm going to see if these ones okay, do. I've tried them on. What do you guys think? Are these really cool for ski? This I'm thinking about these are for skiing, by the way. Are these cool or are they absolutely outrageous on me? Like, are these a cool vibe in the chalet, cozy, look at this cute little teddy material? Or are they just not suit me at all? But I do like this top as like a base layer underneath. A nice little beige top with the contrasting sleeve and the neckline. But is this a cool outfit for skiing? I can't decide. So I've put this over it over the top just of the cream 
so far but I feel like this could look really nice just with some faux leather leggings just like a really easy everyday outfit it's quite big actually and I think this is the size small and then I'm so happy I've tried on the real leather trousers and they fit so nice this is the size 8 obviously they're a little bit long but I love the fit of these I'm so happy I thought I can never find like a good pair of fitting trousers on me and they have nailed these, so size 8 fits great around here, just need to get them tailored at the bottom, but if I was to wear a heel like this, they actually work, and I love the fact that these are flared. I've just tried the black one on, and I actually much prefer this little black one, the fact it's a bit more shorter, it's cropped, and obviously I wouldn't wear this top underneath it, I think I'd just go for like an all black look, or even like a grey top underneath but it actually quite works with these leather trousers as well and on this style I've tried on the cream one I do think it looks a little bit silly the fact that obviously you need to layer this like it needs another jacket over the top but this is obviously how it looks but I feel like this could be really handy for skiing like I said like making kind of chic outfits over it over it and layering okay I've just layered my coat over the top because actually these colors work really well with it and so you can see now it looks way better when you layer it this is actually such a good piece when it gets really cold and to start kind of just building outfits around it. This is going to be so perfect for skiing. It's actually got these little adjustable things on the sleeves as well so you can tie it in. Absolutely love this for a good winter coat and like I said I'm kind of shopping for skiing in mind as well and I feel like this would be perfect. It does feel quite big but I think once I tie it in it'll actually be fine and then having it with like cellar pets or even wearing this for just like at prey ski. Love this. I thought I'd show you in this mirror so you can see it so it's a little bit longer but I tried on this khaki puffer and I like it but I think I prefer the other items more. I feel like I'm going to get more wear of the other ones. This is actually the extra small, so if you do get this, definitely recommend going true to size. Because it is a lovely jacket, and at this puffer, like quilted, sorry I say puffer, this quilted material is again very on trend at the minute. And I feel like it will just go throughout the seasons to next year as well. Okay, I've tried them on. They actually are a better fit than the Zara ones, I have to say, because they don't have the zip. But it's just because I'm small, they're just too long on me, like this stirrup doesn't fit at the bottom. Otherwise these would actually work well because they fit here around the waist and the crotch. It's just because I'm too small ladies that they're not the right length for me on their feet for obviously the stirrup to look like pulled up. Okay so I've got back ready and these are the pieces I'm going to go with. I definitely have to get the real leather trousers, absolutely love them. I'm going to go for this little over knit, I feel like that's going to come in handy for layering. This ski jacket is an absolute must, it's beautiful. This is part of the H&M Sport range. And I thought this is a nice little base layer as well for skiing that I can wear underneath. And then I actually just saw this coat in the men's section which I thought was really nice. nice. Really sorry if by this point you're sick of me talking at you through this mirror. But I've rushed home after the H&M appointment and I need to quickly get changed before I head out for the GHG event tonight. And I thought I would show you the new pieces from Naked. Because obviously I showed you the jacket I've been wearing today. I've been wearing it so much actually this week. And I picked up some lovely coats and jackets from there. So I'm going to quickly try them on before I head out tonight. And hopefully I'm not late. So I just want to put a disclaimer that I am working with them on this part of the video. Like I said I do have a discount code for you guys. You can get 20% off. I will leave all the links down below with size references. So you can shop them. However Naked does the pieces on Naked Fashion do go really fast, so hopefully you can get them before they sell out. So, I'm going to try these on really quick for you. Try not to talk too much, just so you can see the pieces, see how they fit. And like I said, they'll be easy to shop down below. Okay, so you saw me wearing this yesterday for, I think it was yesterday for the Pretty Lavish event. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is going to be one of my favourite go-to winter coats. It's got these big shoulder pads here. Like, I say you can feel them. You can see me feeling them. So it comes with this really nice boxy fit, which I absolutely love. And then it comes long, so it literally hits at the bottom of my trousers. It's got this grey and white speckled material going through it. It's just, honestly, it looks so lush. You make sure... It makes me feel like I have my life together when I wear this coat. I love it. I'm wearing an EU34. Obviously comes oversized. It's quite a big coat. So definitely recommend going true to size. My friend Amy already saw me in it and she really wants it. I wore it all day yesterday around Bista. 
and I'm going to be wearing it so much moving forward. I know it's just going to be like my favourite go-to coat. I absolutely love it. I came home in it and Chris was like, I think that's one of my favourite coats on you. So definitely recommend getting it. If it is sold out, I have found similar on a mango. So I will link it down below for you guys as well. Then this one is a shorter style coat. Again, a really easy kind of like throw on number. Nice neutral colours, beiges. It's got this check print going through it. A little bit more lightweight, which I like. And then I've just put it over the top of this beige top which you've seen me wearing today which I also love it's got these like cut out here I feel like this would be like a nice evening top as well so I will link this obviously it's naked fashion and then I also got some cream boots um like leather Chelsea style ones to kind of match with this coat and I think there's another one yeah the jacket I was wearing earlier today um I put that in my basket to match with that as well and obviously some other items in my wardrobe because I feel like I have a lot of black boots and I was lacking cream ones so I just thought this jacket is really lush again I went quite true to size with this EU 34 I find with their coats they do come quite oversized so definitely go true to size in them these are the cream leather Chelsea boots that I was on about, got them true to size, so these are the EU38 which is a size 5, I love them, they're just a nice chunky Chelsea boot, not too much, but can match with all these kind of outfits that I'll be wearing with like neutral colours, and just mixing it up from always wearing my black ones which I've had for years now. Then I've actually just put the Chelsea boots on, so you can see them on for reference, they actually work with these, and I've also got these in the cream the Zara ones and the cream faux leather trousers which actually look really nice for these boots as well but I've also put this jumper on possibly the fluffiest jumper I've ever owned in my life it is so soft I feel like I'm going to live in this even around the house like on comfy days with just some comfy trousers as well it is so soft and snuggly I love it you can kind of see the material here through at the camera when I come in close Again, I went a little bit oversized with this. I went for an EU 36. We'll link it below. Just a really good base layer. And just so cosy. And then I'm going to put another coat on so you can see how I'll style it over the top. Okay, can we have a moment for this coat? It is so me. It is so fabulous. I absolutely love the puff sleeves on it. I saw it online and I was like, get this in my basket. It is so me, I absolutely love it. It's this checked print going through it. It's actually kind of got like speckles of kind of like a khaki green going through it and also in the buttons as well. If I come in close, you can kind of see with the details. And these amazing voluminous puff sleeves, which I love. I went for an EU 36, which is pretty much equivalent to a UK 10 in this. I wanted it oversized. It does have a belt, which you can tie. So you can ha have this come and tied at the front kind of like a trench coat but I've just tied it a little bit at the back for now because I think I'd probably just wear this open and then I've just got the jumper underneath my leather trousers this is probably how I would actually style it and last but not least this cardigan again I went oversized this is an EU 36 also comes in navy but I quite liked the beige one because if you saw my last vlog I got a similar black one from Zara and I've been wearing it to death really feeling cardigans this season saw this one in this kind of like houndstooth print thought it'd be really cute oversize cream leather leggings i'd probably wear something tight underneath and then actually with the chelsea boots so as you can see it's still got the tag on this is fresh out the box but it's just really nice piece like i said you can layer over this it's just kind of a nice cardigan you can play around with and style in different ways but i'm really feeling cardigans this season so i will link this down below like i said i did go oversized with it i just like them to be a little bit more roomy but I'm gonna get myself together zhuzh up my face and hair I feel like I look a little bit disheveled right now and get myself ready for the GHD event but like I said everything will be linked down below use my discount code and treat yourself with 20% off
morning guys i'm not sure where i last left the vlog i feel like this might be a bit of a scatty one but it's obviously the next day i'm freezing in the car right now the temperature has definitely dropped but i've woke up this morning and just gone and got a bunch of beautiful flowers because i'm gonna go see the lady that's been doing my treatments on my face i know i've spoke about it on here but i haven't fully gone into it yet so I'm getting my lash treatment today because I've broken out a little bit here on my cheek as you can see. I also look super pale in this light so she's going to help sort this out. And she has just been so amazing over these past few months. Like she's really gone above and beyond for me. So I wanted to get her these nice flowers just to say thank you. Um, so yeah I'm going to get my lash treatment today and I'm going to be doing a whole separate video about my skin and like how I've been going about it and how she's been treating it. So I'm going to go get my skin, skin done this morning. And then I've got to take Bailey to the vet. So I'm just having one of those days where I'm just like running errands. So, oh, you've dropped. I thought I'd pick up with you because I went to the GHD event last night, but I didn't really vlog a lot of it. I was running late to the event, ended up breaking my heels on the tube on the way to the event. It was just one of them. And then me and Chris just went and had a date night after and had a beautiful steak at Black Clock. So it was so nice. But I didn't really vlog yesterday. Okay, my camera is flashing at me that the battery needs charging. <laughs> Why is this happening this morning? But I'll try and vlog a little bit more today, show you kind of get my skin done, and then like I said, I'm doing a whole separate video my for that. battery keeps dying, but I've just got here, and we're going to do a full peel again, and the rejuvenation, and it kill this like bacteria, whatever it is here that keeps flaring up, but she's just the best. She's like, I'm going to do it all, and we're going to get it good. Mm -hmm. 